so I made a video in the past that um I took down. Occasionally I take videos down. Usually if like they don't meet a certain like maybe like an accuracy mark, like the it just doesn't hold up a certain way. Even though there's videos that I have that don't hold up a certain way that are still there, but I guess in an okay enough way, or maybe I didn't catch it or something. There's imperfect videos in the 3,000 something videos, but the two more recent videos that I like took down were was one that was um, a movie magic to Crude's New Age, like the second Crude's movie titled that or something like that. And I really wanted to keep that one, but um, I just had this like like in some type of spiritual like way, it felt like I needed to do like to delete that even though like I really kind of wanted to keep it I don't really know what to do with that stage of movie magic stuff because I think around then was like should I um like should I start a movie magic season two because it was like coming around full circle in a way as as t like because I had started watching movies more so in this covid period um when like, they had $1 old school movies at, like, Marcus Century, and then that got me on, like, a movie kick, and even when it stopped being a dollar, and West Acre Cinema opened up, and I started going over there, and then they had, like, $5 stuff sometimes, and they still do have $5 stuff sometimes, but, like, and maybe West Acre Cinema also had $1 movies, maybe, before it, and then, like, so it was Marcus Century that had $1 old school movies, then West Acres opened up, which had been closed during COVID stuff. And maybe they had $1 stuff too before going to $5 stuff. Um, but things changed. Things have changed. But they do still show old school movies though. And I try to catch those um, sometimes. Like Rosemary's Baby that I just watched on like Monday. That's an old school movie that I hadn't heard of, but I've watched now because it was in theaters again. Um, but back in, like, when Crude's, because Crude's 2 was when, like, um, was kind of a move, like, a new release after, because of COVID, like, new movies weren't really coming in. That's weird to think of, like, movies come in all the time now, but. Yeah, I guess during COVID, like, new movies weren't coming in, but there's a time that Crudes 2 came in, and maybe that wasn't the first one to come in, like, post-COVID or during COVID, but it was either the first one to come in during COVID or after COVID or one of the first. And and that is stuck around for a while, probably because it was a family movie and such, <laughs> and maybe they wanted to keep a family movie around. Or maybe they didn't have that many movies to go around in the first place, but... I mean, it being a family movie probably goes into things. Maybe both of those things go into it. But fast forward to a year or whatever later, Crudes 2 was back in theaters as like and like a repeat thing. Because like, sometimes the movies they show again in theaters aren't like old, old movies. Sometimes they're like movies that have been released already but are like coming back for family, like a family friendly series or family something like during the weekends or um so it was back in theater so for me that was like a full circle kind of thing and so it felt like I guess in a way maybe that's kind of what brought season one to a close and now I'm on season three and it might be time to move to season four um because like man these movie magics are getting to a certain level like, now there's this movie magic mode thing. Like, season two, like, if you read the descriptions, got interesting. Season three is maybe even more interesting. And then, like, in the last video, the Mother Teresa one, like, like, I, I listened to that a couple times or maybe a few times today. And, like, so it might be time for movie magic season four. But anywho, um... And if it is, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if, like, 
like if I put what I learned from season two with like the anime ambition thing with all this beauty that isn't of an of a per se anime ambition nature from season three and just kind of try to put it together. Maybe there's more to unlock. I mean, God just God just kind of doing stuff or something like that, like even the initial thing of like to stay after movies and it, after the credits and to freestyle in the theaters like that's already kind of an idea or something cool but the level that it that things have started to get to in season two season three like um and so who knows what would happen in a season four and it might be at that point it might be time for a season four potentially um but what I what I wanted to talk about in this in this video actually is um so the other video that I recently and recently being like maybe within the past couple months or something like that is there is a a video where I was like reflecting on um a coworker that um like I was frustrated with because it seemed like she was struggling with stuff and it seemed like when I offered solutions she wasn't like taking them or wasn't doing anything it seemed like it was almost like seeming like she wanted to be um, like, just, like, in that mood or something, and I think in that video I referred to her as, like, moody girl or something, I think that is what I referred to her as, um, and there was at least one coworker or two that, like, knew, apparently, who I was talking about, um, but, um, I, that was a video of rec recent, recent being, like, within the past couple months or something, that, like, I felt like I needed to delete for some reason, um, like, in, I don't know if I want to say a spiritual way, but something kind of like that. Um, but one of the points that I made in that video was that like, that that kind of applies to me in some way, like, like not in the same verbatim way, but like, there must be something about myself that like, I don't see about myself kind of a thing. And that's only furthered with like an example with another coworker yesterday that like, was just really in a negative place because of a negative situation. I didn't experience it firsthand. If I did, maybe I'd like really understand what they were talking about, but they kept bringing it up. Um, and like both those situations and both the people I'm talking about were like, were friends. Um, these two coworkers from the, the one from the past video and the one from the situation, like that was in a situation yesterday, but both of these bring the issue or the concern or the realization and a powerful point of what is it that I'm missing about myself because I think I'm on top of stuff in relation to other people like I'm not someone who really like I don't know maybe I have an element of thinking well of myself or some type of pompousness or confidence like low-key or something I don't know like people have that guys have that maybe girls have that too where you just like I don't know I don't know like I have some element of thinking good of myself at least I think whether overtly or like kind of within or like just kind of embedded or something um but and this is not just in relation to me this is in relation to everyone like you've only lived your life in your mind like unless your incarnation is real and whatever other spiritual or otherwise things you could put into the mix. But essentially, you've only lived in your mind. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Because there's a certain angle that you can see th things through that could be beneficial. That there's certain, like, there's certain aspects of your lens that could be, like, beneficial. And other people can't see that way. And, like your lens could be actually your, your lens actually could be extremely useful potentially to um to um to someone um or to a group like if they're brainstorming so like your lens could be useful but it's also like maybe a curse or like a limitedness of like you only know how to see things through your lens um, so like you, so like it's, it's good and it's bad. And so like 
there are things like you you like you may think you have things figured out like people be talk like i was thinking about how people talk about like how oh like i'm so kind and da 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 but like i mean are you though like like we think highly of ourselves in a way but nobody's looking yeah yeah um i'm actually with one of the coworkers i was just talking about um i've got a whole lot of beautiful people uh, right now <laughs> Um, but like it, but this, that really does beg the question, like for myself, like I'm missing, like, I do think I'm on top of things with certain aspects of like perceiving in this world. Like there's a level of understanding. I mean, I do be getting annoyed easily with people and stuff, but there's a level of understanding that I have that other people do not have. There's a level of like keeping my word that like, for some reason is not a thing with people. Like there's a level that I'm above other people. But even if that's one, that's on a certain level of things, which is maybe an important element of life that I'm on top of things on. But one, other people are on top in other ways, like maybe with hands on stuff or endurance in certain things. Like I'd be so emotional, like things throw me off so easily with people. And there are other people like that, but there are people that probably aren't as bugged by things or every little thing as much as I am. Um, and that's a two, uh, like a double-edged sword. Like that might mean that I'm more like, that may say something good about me that I'm more like, that I read into things or things affect me or I'm, or I'm responsive to things like that. That's connected to some positive thing I would think, but there's also a bad side to that. So like, so one aspect of it is like, there's other ways, um, that people would be on top of things than me. But the other thing is that like, okay, so I'm saying that I'm above other people in certain elements of like being understanding or whatever or whatnot. But there are people that are higher than me in this world, like maybe gurus or whatever type of people. And what am I not seeing about myself? Because this, this is a thing, like, even though it may feel weird to me of like, like, maybe I think that I got, I mean, I don't know, I struggle in some categories, but I've kind of got some good to me and I got good to me in other ways, but like, there's something that I can't see about myself and it would be hard to like, even, even if there are people that could offer that, um, like a perspective on me that I, that is actually a good perspective. Like, it's hard to hear people's feedback about you. Like, it's hard to filter that. It just, it's hard. Um, if you even find that person that you like trust or has that good perspective, but like, it's easy for me to see stuff wrong with other people because I don't live in their mind. Like I haven't grown up seeing things the way they see, or I have, I, I'm not tied to that lens. I haven't lived in that mind. So looking from my lens and looking at their life, I can, it's easy to see like, Oh, they're being too negative or, Oh, they're to this or whatever. And they can, it's hard for them to see that, but it's easy for me to see that. And like, maybe one thing that we can do for each other as like, as people is like to, like, it's hard to say those things and it's hard to receive those things. But like, if you could to communicate that thing to actually do something for someone, because you may be communicating something that they are not able to see about themselves. Like, it may be that you need to like, um, finesse how you say it or something, or like go about it a certain way. But like your lens is a value because they can only see from their lens, something that comes so easily to you to see, they can't see easily. Um, and like, also you could be holding like such truth in your lens on something and the world may not may like like maybe the world may kind of shut you down in a way, or maybe you just don't have that juice that like you can just put your voice into the world. But there's something of how you see the world that is could be like such truth or such like whatever, but like it may be like shut down. Like you may not have an avenue or the world may not have an avenue that you see or in your immediate life or your normal days. Like it's your voice may not be like received. Like people may not know the truth or the depth of like something that you have to your lens but that doesn't mean that 
you don't have it per se. Like there's not everyone's lens is like lifted up and like given a microphone, but it doesn't mean that you may depend on who you are. You might have some deep stuff or some like really powerful or like legit stuff. And then there's people that aren't developed in a certain way and their lens may not be at that level and they may be heard more than you like people that can see or that have like deep whatever like they may just have these thoughts inside of themselves that aren't really being shared that could that are so like on point like shoot maybe even needed or something or it could just could be very useful but anyway that's the reality of me and what like I can see from like the situations with like these two coworkers and the first coworker I was talking about like today they were receptive <laughs> like to to help not just for me but from others so and also like si- questions that I had with a situation today with that first coworker like wh- I asked questions and like I understood some stuff more um with this situation of today so like I mean sometimes to understand another person like it just there like there's got to be patience on both sides or something which a lot of people these days don't have like people have been through so much in relationships and just this culture like doesn't in this day and age doesn't raise like patient or like centered people and like and when you've already experienced negative from people like that's how you continue to see the world and you don't like give yourself a chance to be able to receive positive Because you're already, like, defining people or situations before you've, like, fully given them a chance. And that applies to me, too. Like, with how I've been living in recent years, I just, like, I kind of assume, or I'm quicker to assume that people are, like, looking down on me or looking negatively when it doesn't need to be all that, probably. So, that's some of my thoughts on stuff.